This is the Dreamy X50 Ultra. If you've been someone that's like, hey, I have these massive thresholds and robot vacuums have never worked for me, you are in luck. Now, I partnered with Dreamy for this video because last year I made a video about the X40 Ultra and that robot vacuum ended up becoming my daily driver. We're taking a look at the upgraded version, the X50 Ultra, and man, it is just chock full of upgrades and we're gonna get into all of them and I hopefully can assuage all the fears that you have about upgrading your robot vacuum or even getting into the robot vacuum game because this robot vacuum pretty much addresses every concern I've ever had. It takes a leap forward in the robot vacuum tech space and it's just a great vacuum. If you're new to robot vacuums, let me just recap all the tech that is packed into this thing before we get to the new incredible stuff that it's doing. This robot vacuum can vacuum and mop. It has a bunch of different settings for how wet you want those mops to be and a bunch of different levels for the vacuum suction. The X50 Ultra can go all the way up to 20,000 pascals. You say, Richard, what on earth does that mean? All you need to know is that it's incredibly strong suction. If you wanna see somebody like measuring out grains of sand and seeing how well the vacuum does and picking up every single one, then go ahead and check out Vacuum Wars. I love that channel as well. So whenever they put out one on the X50 Ultra, be sure to watch that one as well. But here, you're not gonna get that kind of testing. I'm just a regular guy. I have two dogs, I have two kids, one on the way, and I have a filthy house and I am always trying to find a robot vacuum that can pick up all the dog hair, that can navigate around all the toys and cords and everything, and just do a great job with very minimal intervention from me. If you're enjoying this video or it's helping you at all, please go ahead and like and subscribe as well. The algorithm absolutely loves that and I would be very appreciative. Now, this X50 Ultra has a base that is going to vacuum out the bin of the robot vacuum. It also has a clean water and dirty water tank. So it is gonna wash your mop for you and add water to the robot vacuum so that it can go out and mop. It also dispenses detergent as well. So you're gonna add the detergent and add the cold water. It's gonna clean the mops with hot water to get them nice and clean so it can go out and keep mopping and come back. You can also specify in the app how often this robot vacuum is gonna come back and wash its mops. It has LiDAR for navigation as well as a camera on the front. And the X40 Ultra, I was so incredibly impressed and one of the reasons that it became my daily driver is that it just wouldn't run over stuff. The camera would see it, it would go around. I almost never had to rescue it. It almost never got trapped. It would go out, it would vacuum what it could around my kids' toys, cords, whatever, and it would go right back to the base. And the X50 Ultra is no exception. It has all those same features and does a great job. Even, unfortunately, one of our dogs is sick and approaching the end of her life, and she's been having accidents in the house. And this X50 Ultra can navigate around it. Nope, I'm not gonna put B-roll up there because it's pretty gross, but it can navigate around the mess that my dog will accidentally have in the house, and it's not smearing it around or accidentally vacuuming it up or trying to mop it or anything like that. Some other standard features that you should expect these days that the X50 Ultra definitely has is quick mapping. So now you just take your vacuum and you say, hey, quick map the house. It'll take somewhere between, depending on the size of your house, something like 15 to 30 minutes. It'll go everywhere, all the rooms, and map the house. Now, let's get into the major improvements of the X50 Ultra that are some of the first that I've ever seen on the market for a robot vacuum. And that is for getting over thresholds. I have two very large thresholds in my house. The X40 Ultra could also get over them. It would take it a little bit of time, but it could. It would have to work through its algorithm and it could get over them. Well, the X50 Ultra has these two little legs that it can utilize to get up and over very large thresholds. So if it's a single threshold, Dreamy is saying it can be up to 1.65 inches that it can clear, which is incredible. My thresholds are between three quarters of an inch and an inch, they're pretty large, and it has no trouble at all. If you have a two-stage threshold, or let's say like a sliding door in your home with a track or something like that where it's a two-level threshold, then it can go even higher. So 1.65 inches for a single threshold, or I have to do the math because I cannot remember. I know it's six centimeters total, but I cannot remember what that is. What is six centimeters in inches? 2.36 inches. So if you have two thresholds, it can be a total of 2.36 inches that it can get over. 
So if you've been someone that's like, hey, I have these massive thresholds and robot vacuums have never worked for me, you are in luck. Another really clever feature that this robot vacuum has is that it can actually lower its little LiDAR down to get under things that are a little too low for most robot vacuums. Historically, we've had these two couches in our front room that depending on the vacuum height, some would attempt to go underneath, some would just not go at all, and some would just get stuck under them. And this vacuum, it's very neat to see. It'll identify the height. It'll say, hey, I can make it under there if I lower that LiDAR. So it'll vacuum everywhere else in the room first, and then it'll lower its LiDAR and it'll start working underneath the sofa, which I think is really cool. So if you've had issues with vacuums and clearance, this could be a solution for you. Some of the things about this robot vacuum which are incredible is that it can also swing its side brush out to the side and one of its mops. So it can get along edges really well. So if you've had concerns about being able to get in corners really well, this vacuum definitely solves that by being able to swing out the brush and swing out the mop to get into those hard to reach corners and places. It does a superb job with obstacle avoidance, which is why I was using the X40 Ultra as my daily driver. The X50 Ultra is no different. It has that camera on the front. It's able to identify things. You can even see in the app. It'll say, hey, I think this is this, and it'll give you a confidence that it thinks it is, and you can even see the picture that it has of that object, and it makes sure that it goes around, it doesn't try to run over it and get stuck or anything like that. They also changed the design of the brushes on this one. This is their HyperStream Detangling Duo. Oh, I actually had it right. This is their HyperStream Detangling Duo brush, and so they're only attached on one side to the vacuum, and they're spinning in a way that'll work the debris to the end of the brushes that are not attached to the vacuum. Typically, historically, what would happen is you're gonna end up getting hair. If you've got someone with longer hair or animals with longer hair, uh, it's gonna start collecting on the ends of the brush. So Dreamy is trying something here to say, hey, the end that is attached, we're gonna turn them in such a way that it's forcing the debris away from that side, hoping to just get everything into the bin. So that's pretty interesting and something new that wasn't on the X40 Ultra that is on the X50 Ultra. To some other neat things to note here, you might be thinking, okay, Richard, if it has these mops, then when it's vacuuming and mopping, then it's gonna get stuff wet if it's just trying to vacuum a rug or something like that. Well, this thing is so smart. It can drop its mop pads off if you just wanna vacuum, or it can have the mop pads with it and raise them up if you are vacuuming and mopping. It's smart enough to know, hey, this is carpet, don't try to mop here, or hey, this is hard floor, we can go ahead and mop, no problem. It can also, this is really hard to get B-roll of and show, but it can lift up the vacuum portion as well and the side brush. So if it's got some type of like liquid or something like that that you don't wanna vacuum up, it can lift those things up and make sure to just mop that. I feel like I've already said so much, but we've barely scratched the surface of all of the different features that this vacuum has. And you can go into the app and customize almost everything in there. One of my favorites is that it will automatically kick up the suction level when it senses carpet or a rug versus a hard floor to save battery. I'm not super concerned with battery life these days because the robot vacuums just go back to the bases and charge themselves whenever they're getting low and then they just pick up where they left off. So it does have a very large battery and can go for a very long time, um, but that's not really a huge issue to me anymore. Same thing with the dirt bin. Um, it's got a nice size dirt bin, but when it's getting full, it'll just go back and vacuum itself out so that it can keep going. I am gonna point out one very niche feature that I really like a lot and that I haven't seen before. And you can identify where you have curtains on the map. So let me explain a little bit here, bear with me. If you're using LiDAR, anytime the light hits something, it's gonna think that that is an object. So one of the very common ones is gonna be if you have a skirt on your bed, that's just cloth and a lot of times the vacuum could just go underneath. A lot of times they just sense that as a wall if it's just using LiDAR. Same thing with the curtains. So if you've got curtains on either, like we have them on either side of our door here, every vacuum is just gonna sense that as some type of wall and it's gonna not bump into it. Well, you can now say on the map, hey, there's curtains here and the LiDAR will sense that it's there, but it'll know in the map, hey, this is okay for me to force myself into and make sure that I'm vacuuming along, which I think is really neat because a lot of times over time of our vacuum running, 
things would kind of collect in those curtains underneath them because it just wasn't getting vacuumed. So that's a really niche feature, but it's very cool. Overall, I think the Dreamy X50 Ultra is just another step forward in the robot vacuum space. They're just getting better and better. I feel like we're actually turning into the, the exponential part of that technology curve here where each iteration is just getting so much better than the one before and all the innovative features that they've come out with are just incredible. Don't forget about the giveaway. Check that in the description below. Um, that's something that I really like to do and uh, so go ahead and check that in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. I know you've got 50 zillion other videos that you could be watching or other channels that are looking at robot vacuums and definitely check out other ones. Get a nice holistic view and I highly recommend Vacuum Wars. I think that's a great channel. So go ahead and check that out. Again, thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up, click that like button, and we will see you next time.